In today's OSAP Technologies tutorial, I will be explaining the functions of the editing tools in Blue Shadow. Once you have scanned your tools into Blue Shadow, they will all be selected. When a tool is green, it means that it is selected. Most of the editing tools only affect the selected tools. Using left click, you can select or deselect individual tools. With right click, you can hold and drag to create a box and select several tools at once. Right click can also deselect everything and select a singular tool. The keyboard shortcut A selects all tools, including the board, and the spacebar deselects all tools. Open the first tab to view the editing tools. You can use the group tool to rotate selected tools as a group. This functions differently than the 180, 45, and fine rotation tools, which rotate each tool individually rather than as a group. The fine rotation tools rotate a tool one degree at a time. To straighten your tools, you can use the RI 50, 70, or 90. Each of these icons displays the type of tool that works best for each one. If you want to straighten all of your tools, start with the 90 icon, which should straighten most tools. Some tools may need to be straightened manually. You can align tools on an axis using the alignment tools, represented by light blue icons. The most commonly used alignment tool is down, which will align your tools to a bottom edge. If you also select the board, the tools will align with the board. The tools are overlapping and are not evenly spaced, so we can use the sort button to fix that. This spaces out the tools and sorts them from largest to smallest. Click sort again to switch the sorting order. To utilize space more efficiently, you can use the touch tool, which will decrease the space between tools without putting them too close to manufacture. You can further adjust the spacing of the tools with the plus 10, plus 1, and minus 1 buttons. You can also flip tools vertically or horizontally if needed. Another option to efficiently utilize space is with the twist tool. This will allow you to make changes to every other tool. For example, some tools will fit closer if half of them are flipped or rotated. It is also worth mentioning the Undo tool, which can undo your most recent change. If you have a tool with an enclosed hole, like a pair of scissors for example, you can use the Hole tool to remove the holes. For even more flexibility, you can use the Boxing tool, which creates a rectangle with the length and width of your tool. Similarly, the Circle tool creates a circle with the diameter of the smaller of the X and Y dimensions. This can work well to create a circular hole for a socket that was scanned on its side. You can also use left, right, up, and down to move tools in a specific direction and distance. The jump size measurement determines how far the tool moves with each click. The fit tool, represented by a magnifying glass, centers your workspace in the view. You also have the option to turn a tool on its side if needed. This can help you fit more tools on one board. Using side 10 or side 12, you will create a slot with the depth that matches the width of the tool. If you need the slot to be wider, you can adjust that in the infos of selections and change it to match the depth of the tool. Some tools have edges with very sharp features. You can round some of these out using the close tools. These will round off the sharp inside corners. Close 3 matches the radius of our smallest end mill. If you are putting your shadow board in a case, you may want to use the top icon to create foam for the cover. Since the tools stick out slightly from the top of the shadow board, a top piece of foam would require those shapes to be cut out. If your design is complete, you can use this top icon to automatically create that flipped board design. The Freestyle tool can be used to create a custom shape cutout by hand. You can use Size Plus and Size Minus to grow or shrink the tool by 1mm all around. Using the Add icon, you can combine selected tools together to act as one tool. The Subtract tool can be used to subtract the shape of one tool from another. The first tool selected is the primary tool. The second tool selected will create the shape of the cut in the primary tool. You can also split a tool into two parts using the Split tool. 
Hold right click and drag to create a box around the part of the tool that you want to cut off. Then click split. The keyboard shortcut for this is X. You may want to do this to create a multi-depth cutout if part of your tool is deeper. Just select the deeper part of the tool and manually adjust the depth in infos of selections. Using the multi icon, you can combine these pieces back together, but it will keep the multiple depths. The keyboard shortcut for this is P. To separate them back into individual tools, use the keyboard shortcut L. Multi-depth tools can be useful for your shadowboard designs, but they do have some limitations. A multi-depth tool cannot have its profile edited. Also, tools including Add, Subtract, Close, Top, Size Plus, and Size Minus will not function properly. They might appear to work, but they will not save properly. F2 allows you to turn a selected tool into a finger grip or vice versa. After drawing a selection box with right click, you can press B to turn the box into a tool. This concludes our tutorial on the functions of the editing tools in Blue Shadow.